How's it going guys, Tatsumi here back again for another video. So moments before the maintenance. Should you summon on the shield hero banner, including Reptalia, Melty, Philo and the two new unit, Tommy, and Orga, and Wargo? Or should you summon on the gacha equipment? Is it worth to get the true rage shield? Well, in this video I'm going to have a short review on the unit banner, and also these new gacha item summon. So sit back and relax. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope you do, just click the subscribe button and turn the notification bell for more videos like this in the future. Okay, without being said let's start. First Riftalia. Riftalia's buff is just her skill, they add new effect, if crits gains 30 arts gauge if not gains 15. And her ability scaled from 30 to 60%. Even she got a lot of damage buff in this patch. I don't see her as an attacker unit, her kit is more on healing because of her arts. Her arts only affect tank units. If crits increases own arts gauge by 70. Increases tanks HP by 33%, and auto recovery by 150 for 15 seconds. But there's another condition again, if this only hit is crits. Although she has a passive 20% crit rate, and by activating her true arts adds more 50%, and by using her true weapon, has a passive 30% crit rate, a total of 100% crit rate. Her true arts is kind of selfish, it only buff her own, but she can boost her skill CT, so she gain more arts gauge to heal tanks. And that is what I saw in her kit. Next Philo. Philo's buff is only her true arts damage from 45,000% to 55,000% and her skill CT speed reduced from 11 to 9 seconds. I don't really understand why they make Philo's buff this little, compared to Reftalia and Melty's buffs. Philo's kid is stacking attack by using her skill, and a low HP killer, she boosts her damage when the enemy's low HP. And a passive 50% damage to Dragon. She has the potential killing Virago. And Melty. This is what you call buffs. I love how they made Melty this good so far. They increase her fire resistance from 15% to 20%. Arts gauge from 5 to 10 and allies arts damage 10% to 20%. All of these buff applies to all allies which is insane party buff as a support unit. She can heal, increases all allies attack, she can be your arts gen, but she is a type B unit, which is a bit disappointing cuz, she won't stack on most best arts gen in the game, like Juno. And has a new potential cuz her true arts increases enemy damage taken by 50%. Fun fact. I like using her with Vox, that is and Juno in mines before, especially in Palamisha. Cause Palamisha is based on RNG needs to paralyze, but with Melty by activating her true arts, increase enemies damage taken by 50%, you can actually beat Palamisha easily, without having any paralyzed items. And moving on to this new unit Tommy. Tommy is a breaker unit and a freezing kit, this is outdated unit which is very old, and we already have Satsuki. They have similarities in breaking enemy, but in terms of damage and freezing I prefer Satsuki. To be honest I'm not fan of breaker unit. And the next unit, Orga. Orga's kit is more in nuke potential. Cause the arts and true arts are more on damage buff, but the damage 34,000% is kinda outdated again. It's too weak for me. Cause, most of the new released attacker units now are at 45,000% true arts damage and above. It's only my opinion by the way. And Wargol, is the filler unit. Kinda funny cuz as I said I'm not really interested in break unit, but this guy is one of my favorite unit in game. He is more used in break nuke and comp, because of his true arts, boosting allies damage by 150%, when the enemy is broken. And for the gacha items, I actually like them, they are pretty decent items especially on the new ones, cuz they are both good in sustain and nukes. To be honest, I like these Riftalia's outfit, there are two different way to use this item, it's either nuke for the 60% physical damage buff, or sustain for the 30 arts gauge, low CT with 40 seconds. And Melty Shoes, it's good for nuking, both mono water element, or magic damage dealer. I think, this one stacks with King Ghidorah. And also Melty's Dress, a first support arts gen item that also reduces damage taken of all allies. This item is good on some situational high damage enemy, although has higher CT compared to other support item, but this one is a must. And the True Rage of Shield, a single target item, good healing amount 300 per second, and also a must have item of Nafomi, especially if you are building him as your tank. It adds damage negation for his arts, and also reduces physical damage taken by massive 25%. But it only applies in physical enemies, it's not really a must-have item. Even Nafomi have this item, I think Gerald is still better than Nafomi. So, should you summon? 
I actually don't recommend pulling in this banner because of the hype of the Shaman King crossover that is currently held on JP, and after two months, Shaman King will arrive in global. So, we still have time to save crystals for that crossover. If you guys saving crystals for the Shaman King from now, don't summon to any banner, even if it is a new unit banner or even equipment banner. Don't spend any single crystal if you're saving for the Shaman King. But, I'm still going to pull just once on the guaranteed 5 star summon. In the unit banner, Melty is the only decent unit and the other are just, meh. So skip. And for the gacha item, these items are pretty decent, so I'm also going to pull. As I said don't spend a single crystal, save your crystal for the Shaman King. Okay, that's it for now, good luck on your pulls, thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next one. Later.